Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth here, and today I'm so it's Monster Legends Week. So we have all the leaked events for this week, as well as the main event for next week. So let's go and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, the main event for next week is going to be a brand new maze, and that is where you're going to get this monster right here. And it does actually look pretty nice. I like the design quite a bit. It's definitely not a bad design like a lot of the designs have been recently. So yeah, pretty cool monster design. Can't wait to get this monster out of the maze. Keep in mind, it will probably cost money, so I don't know if you want to go ahead and get it or not. But yeah, most of the maze monsters do actually cost money because they're not actually in the maze. This will probably be a Legends Pass monster right here. But yeah, you can still go ahead and try to get it. It might be a free Legends Pass monster. I'm not 100% sure, but it's probably a paid one. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys actually know. But yeah, the maze will start next week on Friday, and that is where we're going to get this monster right here, as well as some other great stuff. So now let's go ahead and get into this week's events. Alright, so we're just going to skip over Monday because it is already over, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are all actually almost exactly the same. Tuesday and Wednesday have the Equipment Challenge, the Killmaster and Mudster Challenges, and then the Jolteen Breeding, and then Thursday actually doesn't have the challenges anymore. At least the Killmancer and Mudster ones. So definitely make sure to get those monsters if you want them before Thursday. Because they will not be available anymore after that. And then the Equipment Challenge can be good, but it will cost quite a few gems most likely. But you can get some pretty great relics out of it. And then the Tails Challenge is actually also going on until Friday. So keep that in mind. You should probably do that as well. But yeah, that will be over on a Friday. So make sure to do it before then. And then the Jolting Breeding is great. You can get some free Mythics out of that. That is always really good. And yeah, the Jolene Breeding and Equipment Challenge will go until Thursday as well, just like the Tales Challenge, so make sure to do all of those events on Thursday or before Thursday. And then on a Friday, a brand new Bounty Hunt starts, so those are actually the best events in the game for getting Mythic, so definitely make sure to do that. And then the Past Monster Breeding also starts, which is another really good event for free Mythics. So yeah, make sure to do the Breeding events this week, especially the Past Monster Breeding and the Jolene Breeding, those are both great. And then the Valkyrie's Challenge also starts on Saturday, which is really good. And that will end on Sunday, so you only have two days to do that. The Pest Monster Breeding will actually go all the way until next Thursday or Wednesday. I don't know for sure what day, but it'll be one of those two days. And then the Bounty Hunt will go until next Thursday as well. So yeah, definitely do those events. The main events you want to focus on, though, are, of course, the main events, the Tales Challenge and the Bounty Hunt. Make sure to do those as soon as possible. And then the Breeding events are really, really great as well. So yeah, definitely make sure to do all of those events. You can also go ahead and do the Valkyrie's Progressive, but don't spend gems on it. It is not worth gems. And yeah, that is going to be for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.